Now hopefully we've got you excited about Twitter. Let's show you how you can create an account. You visit www.twitter.com. You can set up your account with your name, email address, and a password, and you'll create a username of 15 characters or less, and then take the Twitter tour to create your own profile, learn how to use the platform, and begin connecting. Here's how it works. This is the Twitter homepage. You'll type in your information on the bottom right and choose that username and password. Once you do, you'll start Twitter's intuitive tour to show you how to use the service. So let's walk through it together. Let's say that I've searched for the Florida bar. Twitter will suggest to me different people who are already on Twitter that I may want to connect with based upon those keywords. And as you can see, once I typed in the Florida bar, Twitter has presented a list, and there's the Florida bar at number two. Twitter also suggested hip-hop artist Flo Rida when I typed in Florida bar, and as far as I know, Flo Rida is not a member of the Florida bar, but maybe somebody would want to follow on Twitter. So once we select Florida bar, you can now see that the most recent tweet from the Florida bar has been added to the large Twitter feed on the right. You can also find the Young Lawyers Division, and once you select Follow, they're added to the list as well, and you can pick the personal or professional people you want to follow. I've chosen to follow the Dade County Bar and my own Twitter profile, and yes, I also selected Flow Rida. Why not? Twitter thought it would be a good person for me to follow. Once you've learned how to follow someone, you can import your contacts directly into Twitter, and this is just like how Facebook works. Twitter will let you know which of your contacts and friends are already using the service. And you can also upload your photo just like you did on the Facebook site. And once you have, you'll get a Twitter page that looks something like this. On the left, you'll see your Twitter photo. Below that, a very short bio about you, as you can see, a lot less content than Facebook. In the middle, You'll see my Twitter feed, which are recent tweets by me or others that I've shared. And on the right, Twitter is going to suggest other people that I might want to follow based upon my interest. At the top of the screen, you'll also see a search bar, an envelope, and a quill. Those are different ways to search, send messages, and write tweets. And we're going to show you how to do just that. But before we do, Let's take a look at the back end of our Twitter page, meaning what you see now is what others will see when they visit your Twitter account. But when you sign in, you'll see this intuitive dashboard, kind of like you did when you were on Facebook. The left side has a short recreation of your profile. The middle is a list of all of your other Twitter followers' updates in chronological order. And let's now take a closer look at a tweet and see what it's all about. If you follow the arrow on the bottom of the screen, we're going to dissect this tweet. So once we blow it up, ladies and gentlemen, if you ever asked yourself, what the heck is a tweet, it will look something like this. As you can see, it's under 140 characters in length, so it's a very short update. I've typed that New York courts are inconsistent on social media evidence discovery, followed by a very short link. That's a link that I embedded into the tweet so that if you clicked on it, it would take you to that article hosted somewhere on the internet. I've put via the at sign and then PO underscore ST. That means that I'm sharing someone else's content and I have mentioned them in the tweet. And then I've used hashtags, hashtag social media law and hashtag SM law. The reason that I've done that is if someone clicks on that hashtag, it will take them to more tweets that talk about social media and the law. So one great way that you can use Twitter to establish your reputation is by sharing content and using hashtags that are relevant to your users. So that when someone goes to Twitter and searches for something like social media law, tweets like mine will pop up. It's a wonderful way to introduce you to people that you may not know who are interested in what you 